Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about how to migrate the Oracle PLS Cloud stored procedure with too many rows exception into Snowflake stored procedure. This is the 16th video from Snowflake stored procedures playlist. Here is the PLS Cloud stored procedure. Here, please note that I I am going to add the when too many rows exception class in the exception block along with the no data found here if you have here we are using the in snow in oracle we are using the into class so when you are going to get the more than one row and trying to store into the normal variable in that case we are going to get the too many rows exception so here this is the PLS procedure now let me show you the Snowflake stored procedure, how we are going to migrate that procedure or rewrite the same with the same, lo same logic. So here, uh, okay, uh, everything is same. Here we are going to change the query only. So as you know that in Snowflake, we are not going to use the into class. That is the first one. So there is no into class in Snowflake. What will happen even if we have a more than one row for any customer then we are going to get we don't get any error but all the rows will be coming into our result set so while retrieving the data from the result set we have to identify that you know whether the particular record customer a given customer id is more than one record or not like that we have to check so instead of that, what I am going to do while get while retrieving the data from the table itself, we are going to take the only one customer, even though if you have a more than one customer ID. However, along with the customer ID, we are going to capture the number of customer, number of rows present for that customer ID. That, that means how many duplicate values are there. So for example, if you see here, select name count star over partition by customer id so say example customer id one present two times then that value cust underscore count uh, column will have two okay and then row number over partition by customer id order by customer id okay desc rn this is the rn because if you have if you don't use this uh, row number Okay, like you know, uh, by using this one, we are going to get again all the records. So rest to restrict that one, I am taking only row number equal to one. That means first record only. Okay, here to take that one, here I am using the qualify keyword. This is the uh, special keyword in the Snowflake. I already made one video on the qualify. If you want, please go through that video to get more details about how to what is the usage of this qualify so here what i am going to do here here we are going to get the only one 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 row for each customer irrespective of how many irrespective of how many customers are present in the table but we are going to take the how many customers are there okay after that oh sorry after that uh, you know here create statement this is the same and here result set we are taking okay and then rs dot next and uh, here l underscore name is equal to rs dot get column name and l and here there is one more extra please note that i am going to include this one uh, you know when no data found along with the noted data found plus too many rows exceptions so both exceptions i am going to cover in this one so here if you see l underscore cust underscore count here we are going to rs dot get column value 2 so as i said that we are not going to use the into class in, in snowflake because in snowflake we don't have any into class so when and also we don't have a error called i mean you know too many rows uh, like uh, how we capture the no data found for no data found result set uh, result set is empty like that we don't have any string okay default error message to, to overcome that one what we have to do we have already one variable with that variable if variable count i mean for each customer if count greater than one that means 
too many rows only so in that case here we are handling the if condition inside if condition return the database returns more than one customer so else customer name is the l name if error message that substring uh, you know no data found if a given customer is not found here it will be handling this is the way how you are going to handle the too many rows let's get into a demo first first let me execute the uh, you know oracle procedure and then we'll see the snowflake procedure so this is the procedure this is the straight forward we are using the just into class here and then uh, um, exceptions block inside exception block uh, no data found and too many rows so this procedure uh, created now what i am going to do i am going to execute the three different values uh, for three different customers okay see yeah so the database returns more than one customer so for this customer one we have a more than one that's why we got the exception and we capture that inside that exception block the database returns more than one customer now what i am going to do let me execute the, with the customer id 2 so this case customer name is adam so we don't have any issues with so and uh, uh, third case i am just executing that yeah so customer 12 doesn't exist because no data found so this procedure covers i mean you know uh, no data found on too many rows now let me uh, see same in snowflake okay as i said that here this is the uh, okay uh, procedure which i explained in the powerpoint uh, slide so here we are using the qualify keyword uh, class after where class so apart from that see uh, the main uh, you know condition like if you want to use the qualify you have to use the window function either select statement or where class uh, i mean where class here we are using the window functions i mean minimum one function at least count function over partition by or row number both i am using okay so what this is the to identify the duplicate records this is to get the only one record in our result set okay let me create this uh, procedure okay sp underscore customer as uh, created uh, procedure has been created what i am going to do uh, we are going to retrieve the data from this okay let me show you the data from this table so that it would be easy to understand for you so yeah, three rows are there if you see customer id one with the two records are there okay in our result set what i am going to uh, what we are going to get I, I will let me execute that query also uh, whatever that query mentioned here okay here if you see customer one let me take the customer one what we are going to get the output by using the qualify if you see here see two one and two because why I, I didn't use the qualify without qualify two rows we have got okay now let me use the qualify equal to qualify rn equal to one so here what just after where class only so this is another filter condition it will uh, filter the uh, one row now we we get the only one row see customer count one and name is the jack okay so now what we are going to do now let me execute the procedure so that we are going to get the same the database returns more than one customer why because we have a if condition we don't have any error message like result is empty result set is empty for too many rows just we have to use the you know this if condition because we have already captured the uh, cust count how many customers are there if it is greater than one that means obviously the database more than one customer present okay now let me execute the another uh, a call sp customers for uh, customer id 2 2 is there so customer name is adam 2 is present with one record so we got the 
expected output. Now I am going to execute the 12 with the customer ID 12. So what would be the output? Yeah, customer 12 doesn't exist because uh, we have uh, no, no data found exception also. We are, uh, I mean, we handle the no data found exception in the same procedure along with the too many rows. This is the how we are going to handle the too many rows exception in Snowflake. As I said that we don't have a uh, error message for too many rows instead of, uh, you know, catching this error inside a catch block, we can catch uh, in the, we can handle this one without catch block, we can handle inside the try block itself, okay, by using the if condition. Yeah, that's all from this video. Thank you watching for my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it your friends. Thank you once again.